Hello fellas, welcome back to another episode of Weapon Insights. I'm so happy you like the start of the series and until now 167 people have voted in the community tab. Thank you. So today we'll be having a look at the beloved hypnosis. But before we start I need to say a few words to the all-seeing eye and the video I made about it. Again, I like ASE, but to be honest, the video might give you a false insight and maybe my idea of running the Wailing Tower with it was not the best idea. Instead, I really thought about it and read all of your comments, which I, by the way, always do. And I think I need to adjust the format a little bit uh, to put the weapons into their right use. ASE is an engagement opener, not a single target damage monster. And I struggled with the profit and I didn't do ASE a favor with it. This is not the use of ASE. So I really hope to do better in today's video. And I chose not to run the Wailing Tower with Hypnosis because we have several reasons not to do so and to give you a better insight onto the Hypnosis. Let's start. So we start with Hypnosis. We go with Hangfire. Vulture, Stormball, Burning Stake, Blood of a Banshee, Handbane and Ring of Obedience. Blood of a Banshee is very very nice because it needs an overkill value of 50 hit points to do a damaging explosion. And Hypnosis has increased damage uh, with the M1 and M2 uh, Mysteria and it has a base damage of 80. So it is pretty easy to overkill enemies with the weapon from the get-go. A short explanation, what is overkill exactly? Let's say an enemy has 30 hit points left and you hit him with a 80 damage shot. The enemy will die and you do 50 damage exceeding the enemy's hit points. This is an overkill. Let's have another look at the Mysteria and what makes Hypnosis so special. So with every perfectly placed hit you will hear a gong sound and the weapon will indicate that you made a perfect shot. Also, if you look at the bolt of the gun, you can see a blue crystal turning into a green crystal once you applied three perfectly timed shots. And it's important to mention that a perfectly timed shot does not mean you need to hit a critical hit, but every perfectly timed hit of the weapon, no matter if it's a critical hit or not, will deal increased damage and this is what really makes the gun so satisfying the nice gong sound the the bell sound when you hit the the, the perfect timing as well as it simply you just saw it the damage numbers minor enemies can be one-shotted with it because the gun deals so much damage and if you then have a look at the possible combinations for example in my case here um, the burn from uh, Burning Stake as well as uh, the damage from Blood of a Banshee, the overkill damage from Blood of a Banshee. Uh, you can see how easily uh, the damage numbers add up. I can hit so many enemies at the same time with it um, that you can clear whole camps in just a few shots. So did you pay attention to how many shots I needed to clear the whole camp? I tell you, it was six bullets and the whole camp was cleared. So the possible area of effect damage with Hypnosis is simply amazing. And if you combine it with the overkill damage, as I have just shown you, simply, simply awesome. With the combinations, I was able to clear the whole Scarlet Coast map, every encounter on the map, without the need of an ammo chest. To be fair, I triggered the Calamity before I went to kill the boss, but that was the only additional ammunition that I had to grab. Of course, I grabbed all the ammunition from the hunt, as well as um, the ammunition that I maybe got, I didn't pay attention if I got any, um, from Ring of Obedience. But you get the idea. It is just ammo efficient. It deals a lot of damage. Okay, so again, damage combinations. I'm a huge fan of combining fire and lightning damage. And 
Hypnosis is a lightning element gun. You will be able to land three perfectly timed shots and then the next per six perfectly timed shots will each apply lightning damage. As soon as you miss a shot or if you reload the effect is gone obviously but this makes up for a lot of damage. You don't have to pay attention to hit again the critical spots but you want to hit the timing. This is the only situation actually and um, here we go back to what I said initially. I didn't do the gun a favor. In this situation right now we are with the buckler swordsman and they can be a pain in the ass. So I chose to simply switch to hangfire because they cannot block the damage from the hangfire explosions but they can block the damage from hypnosis. So I just decided why take the risk of getting hit and why take the risk uh, of my shots being blocked. I just go with hangfire, I deal the explosions and you're good. So in this situation I could have or I should have pulled Ring of Obedience. The enemy was very low on hit points, the enemy was staggered and Ring of Obedience would have given me spell recharge and possibly ammunition. So whenever he is the same situation, the devotee was very low on health, I could have pulled or I should have pulled Ring of Obedience. I just didn't uh, train enough with Ring of Obedience. It's not an item that I use uh, too often, but you get the idea and I think you can really, really make this ring work. So for now I will leave you with the rest of the gameplay. You can watch the rest of the encounters and how I managed them. Um, before I come to my final verdict and before I show you the boss fight with it, please comment down below which gun should be coming next. As we had the poll, Midas will be the next gun, but what is the gun you want to see after this display and after the Midas display? Which gun are you interested in? Please let me know in the comments. I'm really, really looking forward to it and I'm gonna read every of your comments. So even though I already talked about the perfect timing and the crystal on the bolt of the gun, um, there's also a second indicator. You will hear a sizzling sound when you aim down sights. And actually the combination of both the sizzling sound as well as the crystal at the bottom of your screen will give you the perfect feeling for the gun and it takes a little bit of practice but after that you can just feel what the timing is and you don't have to um, yeah, look at the, the blue crystal or the green crystal anymore and you don't have to listen to the sizzling sound but instead it will just feel natural to your gameplay and this is just awesome. So what's the verdict? Well. The gun is very, very beginner friendly because you don't have to hit your critical hits. You just have to get the timing right and the timing will feel natural uh, for you after using it for a while. What is also important to mention that Hypnosis is going to be the first gun you can research in the long range weapon category. So you can get it from the very, very beginning of the game. And if you combine it with like Hangfire or even Hunger, you will have a very, very strong combination. Plus, this gun is maybe the best gun to farm M2 incantations. You can do runs where you simply shoot the Warden on Scarlet Coast and you go ahead and just kill the Warden, grab that incantation, finish your run from the starting portal, rinse and repeat, and you will have a lot of incantations in no time. You don't have to do the research on them, spare the gold for unlocking uh, the research, just farm the Warden with it. The range is awesome, the damage is awesome, and in 6 or 7 hits you will be able to kill the Warden and get that incantation. Again, I cannot stress this enough, this gun just feels awesome, it is very beginner friendly, it deals high damage, it is ammo efficient, and yes, if you have a few moments, you can deal with calamities as well, and it's a very nice boss killer too. 
Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. I'm done for now. If you liked it, give the video a thumbs up. And as always guys, have a good one.